What up guys, Mazaku back again and since it's getting dark, I uh, kinda gotta hurry this shit up. <laughs> but Naruto Shippuden episode 486 preview discussion. Thank you guys clicking on the video and you know we're gonna have a good time here. Now as we've seen uh in the preview uh of uh 486 it's not an immediate fight with Sasuke and Fushin. It seems like Sasuke is going to, you know, have to face some hardships or go through a few people just in order to fight him because they, well, if I remember correctly, Orochimaru said they were going to some sort of like, evil island or some shit like that. So, regardless of what happened in 485, Fushin, he was fast enough or tactical enough to get out of there in time before Sasuke was able to confront him in that place specifically. So, maybe, you know... He has puppets, you know, as an exploding humans who kill or who uh, use that juice against other regular humans. So maybe he doesn't need to do it directly. He, he creates a couple of puppets and maybe only a few select those puppets. Then can, you know, run on that due to the other humans. And that's probably about it, which would explain why, why Sasuke, and to, um, Sasuke and Rishimaru would have to go to another distant island just for a chance from being there and it seems yes you see in the thumbnail and in the preview Sasuke has his Renegade activated he is ready to whoop some ass so but in the preview it really doesn't show like Sasuke and Fushin interact and we see other people we see other people you know who fight Sasuke so it looked like it's gonna be one of those you gotta beat him and him with her just to get to this guy so they're definitely gonna you know run on with this story it's gonna stretch out a lot but I think it may only be four parts I don't know I could be completely wrong it could be five or six but I think it's only four so after that we'll go on to probably somebody else's novel maybe Hinata's and if we do you know, we could go on to her, you know, her little pregnancy stage because Naruto was hitting in them guts. But as far as Sasuke, um, as far as the father, because he's going to have to face the father when he gets to the island, of course. Please do not nerf Sasuke. Just have Sasuke run through these guys. So at least try to save their spirit of lives to try to collect uh, some more intel because we don't even. Damn, I got my juice over here. I'm trying to get a sip of my juice. We we still don't really know much about the uh the I think it's called the Kerugan or something like that the Kerugan. You know it, it helps people with explode. That's about it. But I, something's telling me there's much more to this guy's jutsu. And if you guys had already read the novel, I never read the Sasuke novel, so please do not spoil you me on this. But I'm definitely interested in it. And it seems like um the story that the little girl told. By the way, fuck the little girl that's traveling with Sasuke. It still makes no sense. Um, it seems like uh, this guy, um, Fushin, whatever he did to the village or whatever, he probably did it years ago and he returned because I could have sworn it was two completely different character designs, but maybe Fushin is a much more aged person. I mean, he couldn't have been a kid. He can't, he can't be near Sasuke's age. He has to be a, 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 maybe a decade or more older than Sasuke because even the Orochimaru knows him. And we already seen the Orochimaru tactics when Sasuke was a kid and you know, going on to his teenage years. So obviously he's older than Sasuke and probably a lot more experienced than him. Not battle wise, but as far as using a Keke Genkai in general. But he knows who Sasuke is. My question is, since this is actually canon in the novel, this is deemed canon. Everything you see here is canon. So it's like, fuck. Why did he wait this long just to show up? Uh, I don't know, but he's interested in Sasuke, Sharingan, and, well, probably just Sharingan. I don't think he knows who the Renegan is. That's going to be uh, probably one of um, the climaxes of the battle when he finds out, oh, shit, this dude has a Renegan. What the fuck is that? But by the time he realizes that, if Sasuke uses any Renegan abilities, the fight should be over. The fight should definitely be over. Um, hopefully, Sasuke doesn't get caught in one of the... Um, Wait, he can't get caught in Genju. Fuck, he has fucking shower got a running gun. Hopefully they don't put no bullshit in when Sasuke mysteriously gets caught in one of those because I'll probably cut that episode off. But it seems as in the preview show in Sasuke, he's gonna have to go through some fodder first, and it seems like um that Fushin is just sitting there spectating while Sasuke is not noticing him. Maybe he does or know who Fushin is. But I think it's quite evident that Sasuke and Fushin will not fight in uh episode 486 so that is unfortunate but you know because this episode 485 this uh, this was very stretched out and they're definitely going to stretch out the next one that's why i'm questioning you know is um is it only a four-part sasuke story series so it may be a five or six i just never really heard of a five or six part story so usually one and two or <coughs> three or four but um 
I'm not sure what's going to happen. I know it's going to be a stretched out episode. Sasuke is just going to run through fodder throughout the entire, well, half the episode, they're going to spend getting to the island. And then Sasuke is running through fodder. Hopefully, they explain how Orochimaru knows so much about this shit and nobody else on their planet does. It makes no sense. I don't know. It's just really inconsistent. Very inconsistent. And it hurts the story a little bit only because, hey, this is canon. You know, they would say there's some filler or the novel doesn't really count. There's just a little tale. Then it would be, everything would have been alright. But it's like, no. Kishimoto himself wrote these novels and he deemed them canon, all of them. And all they're doing right now is just animating it. So hopefully... I don't know. Sasuke's running through fodder. He's not going to fight Fushin in this episode. But they're probably going to have a face-off right before it ends. So that's what I'm calling. Uh, what do you guys think is going to happen in this episode? I want to see Sasuke utilize some more Renegon techniques that we had never seen him use before. But we know we can't because, hey, they got the freaking Renegon. Um, that's just that's, that's my take on it. I mean, it's not really much to run off of this previous discussion. But hopefully it's a, it's a very entertaining episode. It doesn't have to be action-packed or completely story-filled. It's a little bit of both. We'll probably just do the trick and get us ready for part four when the actual fighting battle scene begins. So my name is Mazaku. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out.